right. We're here with AXTV in Rainsville, Alabama. Just wrapped up round four of the Arena Cross Tour. Got Taylor Dressler here. What a race we just had here tonight. Yeah, it was definitely a good race. No doubt. Let's talk about these two guys we got here sitting with us, man. Teammates. What's going on? Kyle White. And we got our buddy Max Malatia down here. Guys killed it tonight. So you're going to be our guest for tonight. So, Kyle, a lot of good stuff going on out there. Did you have fun? Yeah, it's uh, been a good three rounds, four rounds this series. Um, you guys are putting on a good track, and we're getting some pretty good results in. So things are going good. We're having fun. Most definitely. Shout out to Jetworks, man, killing it every week. But like I said, round four. Let's go over here to Max. Let's see what Max thought about the night we had. Max, how'd your races go tonight? Uh, they didn't go too good. I, I struggled in practice, and then track was real loose, and I guess it was just getting to me. Uh, I was kind of just being sloppy, making little mistakes, and it I mean, I, I rode good, but I didn't want the, I didn't get the results I wanted. All right, got a big story to tell about these guys right here, Taylor. You got to tell me about this whole deal with the Volkswagen. Last round, they rolled up in a Volkswagen, bikes in pieces. Um, I was kind of concerned about how they were going to get them together in time and be ready to race, but they pulled it off. Max, how do you feel about that? I thought it was, uh, was kind of crazy at first when Kyle said that we were going to take the bikes apart. Pretty much uh, swing arm, rear wheel forks and fenders he was like we're just gonna put them in my jetta and cruise down to the round so i was like all right that sounds good and it, we were getting 38 miles of the gallon so couldn't beat the gas price and uh it got the bikes together in time and had a good round there any intention to do that again anytime soon i personally hope not uh hopefully we could get some riders uh some riders with us so we could all split some gas but i guess if it has to happen again we're gonna do it so we could go ride it's a good attitude to have. No doubt. I actually thought it was a joke when I first seen it, but this guy was serious as a heart attack. He told me that he had fun taking the bikes apart and putting them in the back of a Volkswagen. Yeah, I mean, my brother owns a you know performance shop, so I, go, I work on bikes a lot, and I enjoy working on them. So I, uh, it was about six hours total assembly and disassembly, but I figure we saved 240 bucks in fuel. That's 40 bucks an hour working on bikes. Can't beat that. No doubt. In a Volkswagen all the way from Illinois. <laughs> Glad to have you guys here. Um, let's talk about the sponsors that help y'all get to all these races. Man, we uh, got to thank BWREngines.com, FHK, Decal Works, Yoshimira, Ride Engineering, EVS, Hinson Clutch Components, XL, Void Clothing, JL Photography, and uh, just everybody's really helping us out. Most definitely. Teammates, best buds, killed it tonight. Round four, done a great job. Kyle White, Max Malatia, glad to have you all here. Going to have you here a couple more rounds. So uh, glad to see you all, and we'll catch you all at the next one, right? Yes, sir. All right. Live here from Rainsville, Alabama, Arena Cross TV. All right, Taylor, so I hear you caught up with Heath Harrison right after the Clash for Cash. Yeah, I did. Let's go check it out. All right, let's go check it out. got Heath Harrison here with me tonight and this is his first arena cross race of this year with the AX Tour. How'd it go for you? Yeah, it was good. You know, I uh, it could have been better, but leaving here safe and in one piece, so couldn't be more happy with that. And got a second in the, the arena cross pro class and then whole shot of the clash and then first lap had a tip over in the hoops and then put my head down and just charged and came back to third, so I couldn't be more happy with that. I plan on doing the... Uh, East Coast in the 450 class, and uh, just select few rounds, not sure which ones yet, and then obviously the outdoors, I'm going to try to attend all those, and hopefully i have a good year doing those. Okay, is there anyone you'd like to thank? Yeah, for sure. You know, I'd like to thank the whole Davey family, all those, that whole family has really been, really been good to me, and let me stay at their farm with Luke, and just all of them, I couldn't thank them enough, and then George with BPM, Troy Adams, all the guys up at PR2 and then uh, Pro Taper, Scott, Roost MX, FMF, Scott, oh actually I already said Scott but just yeah just everybody thank you. All right. All right let's go down and check out the Clash Report here in Rainsville, Alabama.
In the clash tonight, Heath Harrison was able to grab the whole shot and take an early lead with Dave Ginolfi right behind him. Thompson was patient and able to capitalize on Heath Harrison. When he went down towards the third lap, Kyle White was able to pick good lines and make his way up the front of the pack. Keith Harrison was able to make a strong charge and get back on the podium to finish out the top three. The night would end with Cole Thompson in first, followed by Kyle White in second. Keith Harrison would be third, Max Malatia would end up fourth, and Dave Ginolfi would round out the top five. It's Miss Arena Cross. Come see me next weekend, December the 15th, in Memphis, Tennessee. Rise,